we need to do some thrift flips. We need to flip some thrifts. This entire bin is full of items awaiting alteration and things that I have thrifted solely for the fabric. So it's not entirely stuff that needs to be thrift flipped. And there is no better day than today to start tackling that dreaded pile. So let's meet our candidates for mutilation. I thrifted this black ruffle skirt a couple months ago that I absolutely love, but I don't care for the shirred waistband. Not only is it a weird length, but it's also stretched out and fits poorly, so this needs to be replaced. This gorgeous cotton dress is a hand-me-down I received over the summer that needs the sleeves removed. The voluminous puffs are really fun, I really do like them, but the placement is awkward and realistically, since this is a spring-summer dress, I'm more likely to wear it if it doesn't have sleeves and just has straps. And lastly, this vintage suit set that I also got for free has been sitting in my alteration pile for almost four years. I already used the fabric from one sleeve for a project years ago, but my plan for the rest of it was to make a vest. The first thing I did with the black ruffle skirt was sew a stay stitch on the longest stitch length along the top of the ruffles. I didn't want to risk the ruffles becoming misaligned once I began removing the original waistband. I then cut a piece of wide waistband elastic the same length as my waist measurement and connected the ends. I marked both the elastic and the skirt into quarters, pinned them together at these points, and sewed them together with wrong sides touching, stretching the elastic as I went. I then flipped the elastic around so that it was facing right side out over the top of the skirt and sewed along the inside with a zigzag stitch. This time I did not stretch the elastic. Just like with the skirt, I first added a stay stitch under the arms of the dress so that the shirring would not come undone. I then picked apart the seams to remove the sleeves, but apparently I didn't film that. I don't know, I guess I hit record and then accidentally hit stop. I have no idea what happened here, it's just like a two second clip of the dress sitting on my desk. Anyway. After the sleeves were removed, I picked out the elastic from one of them, ironed it flat, and cut out four strips of fabric running the full length of the sleeve. I sewed these strips in half and turned them right sides out to make four little fettuccine noodles. Actually, they're rather big fettuccine noodles, if you think about it. To clean up where I removed the sleeves, I surged the edge of each armhole before folding it in and sewing it down with a zigzag stitch to still allow some stretching. I then added one fettuccine noodle to each side of the armholes. The first thing I did with this jacket was remove the remaining sleeve and the remnant of the one I previously cut off. I then cut away a bit more of the armhole at both the top and the bottom to create the shape I wanted. I picked apart the bottom seam at the sides so I could flip the jacket inside out and take in both the lining and the shell separately. That way my alterations would be sandwiched in between them when I flipped it back the right way. I took in the sides about an inch each, curving in more at the waist, and also took in the side front seams a bit at the top. I decided to finish the armholes with bias tape, which wasn't the best option, but it's what I had time for. If anyone has tips on how to get a better finish when using bias tape on an armhole, please let me know. Please drop it in the comments. I very rarely have good results with this method, but for some reason, I just keep trying. So these are all the pieces I'm gonna have time for for this video. Literally, I'm wearing all of them right now. I don't know if it looks bad or if it looks like something you might see at Fashion Week. Could be, 
one in the same, but definitely subscribe if you wanna see more thrift flips because I have so many to get to. I really love how the dress and the skirt turned out. I can see myself wearing these a lot this upcoming spring. The vest is almost perfect. I have some reservations about the binding at the armhole. I'm not sure that bias tape was the best way to go. Every time I try bias tape on an armhole, it just creates really weird puckering and you can tell it's like too tight. I might <laughs> redo that down the line. I might just rip out the bias tape and make facings for the armholes, which is a lot more work. I don't have time to do that right now, but as it stands, this is still good as like a costume piece. I just would want it to look a little bit better before I would wear it with an actual outfit. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you guys so much. Leave a little thread emoji down in the comments and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. And there is no better day than today to start dreading, to start dreading. <laughs>